Greetings, this is a quick, awesome recipe of goodness for you. Uh, one of your five a day if you listen to Heinz and what they tell you. So simply open your beans uh, like this. Difficult with one hand, but I'm going to get used to doing things with one hand. Um, pour your beans into your pan. Gotta love that beanie goodness. Always give you a couple of shakes at the end to capture the, the rogue beans that are trying to escape uh, to the free world. Clearly Darwin's evolutionary survivors in there. So we add pepper, uh, black ground pepper, quite a lot, like this. You add ground cumin uh, powder from Azada. Not that cumin -y goodness. And then, to make it even more muy bueno, we add brandy. Because this is brandy beans. I often call this banded beans. No particular reason. Uh, and finally, the ingredient to make this the most supreme beans you've ever seen in your life. Bombay mix from Bombay. That's good. You want quite a good glug of brandy just to give it that sort of Christmas, Christmas special. Feel. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. But don't worry because the uh, you know they say that the alcohol cooks off when you heat the food. That's just bullshit. Bombay mix. But this goes in the end of the cooking process. So once it's cooked, you add the Bombay mix. Not quite yet. Because if you add this in now, what happens is it just sort of all these uh, lovely yellow sticks of joy just kind of mulch down into a powdery mess. And what you really want is that textural goodness of crunch added into your sizzling pan of awesome. Now in case it's of interest to thee, with my brandy Bombay beans, I'm also making mashed potato, that's got to be mashed yet, clearly not mashed, and pie, which is just a black hole in there. <laughs> You'll notice with the mashed potato I'm doing it right by making sure it's equal parts butter and potato. Here the beans, doing their thing, looking good. Uh, what you want to do is cook that until it's just a stodgy pile of, of just orange mess. I can't stand warm beans. But normally I cook them once, then I just cook them again. Cook them again! So as you can see now, it's properly going for it. That's seriously cooked. I'm just going to turn it off and just leave that to cool down while I prepare the rest of the mash, which is now mashed the pies in my black cavernous hold of heat. Pies up, and if you're interested, these are the Linda McCartney's vegetarian pies, uh, which are actually particularly delicious. And as you can see, I've pretty much made a sort of fortress of buttery goodness here uh, to insert the beans into, uh, and these are properly cooked down. Now you, you do a swipe, it's stuck, that's what you want. And here are the brandy beans, as you can see, it's amazing how small a whole can shrinks down if you do it right. And to top it off, get a bit of that Bombay mixage. Yeah. There you go. Chappers, brandy, Bombay beans with incidental pie and mash. I love the iPhone. I hate the I'm going to put that on the video. I this is going in the. <laughs> I hate. I hate the iPhone. Oh, that's really good. It's like Christmas crunch in your mouth. You get like the creamy potatoes, and then you get the sort of stodgy beans, but then you get the the crunch from that Bombay goodness. Good old India. Plus one in England's food since nineteen forty. This is from my friend Liz. <laughs> Liz, this is a peacock. They roam wild in Wiltshire um, all all the time. They're just ready to pounce on victims. <laughs> 
That's my dad. Be brave, dad. Because it could pounce on you. He's like, just chilling. Come on, get me some bitches.